All right, we'll play the game again. So I've got, once the equation of a line tangent to this graph, equation of a line tangent to this graph at this point, uh, reach in and tell me what I'm thinking, I'll pay you. Go ahead. Need the derivative. So I write down here dy dx, three points for Andrea. Somebody else tell me what I write next. Again, you can write, you can tell me as little as possible. It makes the game go quicker and more people get points. So use your creative energy to <coughs> give little teeny comments. And I don't know what the rule is called, but I would use the one that's like take the bottom part of the fraction and you put it there and then like the well, quotient. Yeah, that one. <laughs> the good news is I don't know of any AP questions where you actually have to know the name of the rule. <laughs> as long as you know <laughs> that you're using it correctly, it's actually fine. So. Okay. So three points for um, Kayla. So I wrote three x minus two. Somebody tell me what comes next. Okay. Uh, three points, but no. Just a small mistake. No worries. So Cameron. Uh, it would be you do d over d over uh, sorry no, d to two x plus three over dx. There we go. I'm don't know. I'm drawing a blank of what it's called. I uh, just say derivative is fine. Okay, so, so you can say. Kayla got me confused. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so um, don't forget parentheses here. That's a common error. So I just say, using Kayla, it's common. I just say the bottom times derivative of the top. Points for Kim. Yeah, somebody else. Let's go, Rick. Uh, Perfect. Hold on. Oh. Minus three points for Rick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've got to get the spirit of the game here. It's hard with math. We all look so. So one, you know. Todd. 2x plus 3. 3 points for Todd. Next. Don't forget them for Oh, who said that? Mm. There you go. 3 points for Cameron. Oh. Zach. Uh, divided by the... Wait, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Glitch. Oh, he's backing out. 3 points, too. <laughs> uh, D of 3x minus 2. There we go. Points for Timmy. Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. no idea. <laughs> I think my elbow or something activated the calculator. That was exciting. Um, next. Listen. 3x minus 2 squared. Three points. Question. <coughs> Whole room. Should be able to do this in your head without writing anything. Hands up. What's the red going to become? Everybody gets paid. What's the red going to become? Just do it in your head. Let's go, Maddie. Two. Everybody agree? Two points, three for Maddie. Red over here. Mm -hmm. Hands up. Savannah? Three. Everybody agree? Three points, four for Savannah. You think that wasn't 12. Um, so now I have 3x minus 2 times 2. 2x plus 3. All over 3x subtract 2 all squared. Okay, just let me tell you what I've learned from experience. At this point, I have found the best way to proceed is to distribute this way and then distribute the negative. So I'm going to write dy dx equals, this is also going to distribute. So we get 6x subtract 4. 3 times 2, that would be 6x, then negative. 3 times 3 would be 9, then negative. I don't ever expand unless I have a reason to expand. So no reason on the bottom, so I don't. So then this becomes dy dx. Uh, negative 13. And 
once again, we don't want to get lost in the math. So I'll pay everyone, hands up, what does the blue box represent? Does the blue box very precisely represent? Wait for another hand or two. It's the loop. The equation to find the tangent slope at any point on what? Hold on. You really can't say it better. Perfect. The blue is an equation for finding the tangent slope at any point on that equation up there for y. Perfect. How many need up before you set it? Three points. You want to talk? Oh, oh yeah, please. Well, so if you, so since it's at one five, you would plug in one and that would. Okay. Yeah. Um, please use this notation, everyone. Uh, you need good notation on the FRQ to get points, but good notation also prevents you from making mistakes. Because the notation indicates that you understand what you're actually doing. So I'm finding the tangent slope at x equal 1. Now we pause because I'd much rather have you do the computation than I. Or me, whichever the grammar is. What goes in the box? Hands up. It seems to be the moment in class where everyone panics. It was like two, two and squared and so <laughs> negatives and more hands. <laughs> like we have trouble here, we're going to have a lot of trouble all year. Um, what goes in the box? Uh, most everybody's brave enough to raise their hand. A few shy ones there. So let's go with Sophia. Negative 13. Show your hands if you agree. Two points, three for Sophia. Wait, how, how is it that? Uh, no worries. What's three times one? Three. Minus two. Oh, wait, whoops. I accidentally multiplied it by two. Okay, it's okay. No worries. Zach. So I just have a question on the notation. I haven't seen this uh, derivative x equals 1. This one here? Yeah. Can we also just do y1 of 1? Uh, like this? Yeah. Yeah, that would be fine. <laughs> okay. Cool. Anybody else? Three points for Zach. Again, can't get lost in the math, so show me your hands. What does this represent? Hands, come on. Got it. You compute a number, you must know what it means. What's the negative 13 representing? Jake? Uh, that's the slope on the, on the equation of the y. Uh, just be a tiny bit more precise because what you have to remember is this curve has an infinite number of different slopes. So say it again, Jake. Uh, let me say it back to you just to make sure. So this equation is how we find the slope at any point on the curve. This number is the specific slope on the curve at the point oh, 1, yeah. comma 5. Does that make sense? Yeah. Three points. Anybody else? Questions? So all that's left to do now is what we did with Cameron a minute ago. We just used the template and plug it in. Let's copy this. Wait patiently for the copy to occur. There it went. So all we have to do is write down the answer now. So come on. So our equation of the line tangent is going to be y equals our slope negative 13 x minus the x coordinate, which is 1, plus the y coordinate, which is 5. None of the answers look like that, so I start rearranging. <laughs> Questions to there? Uh, none of the answers look like that either, so I just keep rearranging. Now I'm 
good. Question? Please, come. Uh, so how how come you got from like the the first part that you wrote down where it's like x minus one, then it's I get the negative thirteen x, but why did it turn into a thirteen? Uh, just distribution. So negative thirteen times x oh, is yeah. negative thirteen x. Negative thirteen times negative ah negative thirteen times negative one would be positive thirteen. That's your question. Yeah. Two four. Yeah. Oh yeah, that seems to happen every year because every year I make the hand out, hand it out, and someone tells me I forget to go fix it. Okay. <laughs> the bonus. <Okay. laughs> Thanks, Kayla. Kayla pointed out. Anybody else have a question before I stop the video? Uh, Kayla pointed out that unfortunately.